Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys in today's video, we are going to discuss why Succession has so much behind the scenes drama. Are you guys excited so let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't and turn on the post notification for more videos. Succession is one of the most successful and lauded shows on TV. The HBO comedy drama centers on the media empire of Logan Roy, Brian Cox, and his four children, Shiv, Sarah Snook, Roman, Kieran Culkin, Kendall, Jeremy Strong, and Connor, Alan Ruck. The show has won Golden Globes, Emmys, and SAG Awards, creating superstars out of the cast. But like any ensemble show, there is as much drama on screen as there is off screen. With controversial interviews, rumors of squabbling, and an outspoken cast, there is as much going on with the cast behind closed doors as there is on the screen. But perhaps that is what makes the show so captivating to watch and what earns them so much praise. So what has happened with the cast behind the scenes of Succession? 5. Dasha Nekrasova and her controversial podcast Dasha Nekrasova joined the show as Comfrey Pellets, a crisis PR rep working with Kendall Roy in Season 3. The actress had already made a name of herself through her podcast Red Scare and after going viral in 2018 when she told off an InfoWars reporter who accosted her over her leftist beliefs at South by Southwest. Her podcast, which is co-hosted by Anna Tachian, has become highly controversial. The cut described it as a critique of feminism and capitalism from deep inside the culture they've spawned. In November 2021, Nekrasova posted to Instagram a photo of herself with Alex Jones, the host of InfoWars, and subsequently praised Jones on her podcast as an incredible entertainer. She has not been announced for season 4, but no reason has been listed for her character's disappearance. 4. Brian Cox dislikes learning, so many lines last minute for succession. Succession scripts can apparently come in very late, much to the annoyance of one significant actor. They come very late, and we're used to it now, but I think it was a little alarming," Matthew McVidian said on NPR's Fresh Air. Brian would get vexated because he had more lines to learn. I was never that bothered unless I had an awful lot to say. I like the freshness of it. I like the on-the-hoof quality that it brings. Yeah, they come very late, sometimes an hour before the table read. Kieran Culkin has also spoken at Cox's annoyance at his ability to learn the complicated scripts quickly. Three. Why Succession's J. Smith Cameron threw water at Kieran Culkin During the filming of Season 4, J. Smith Cameron took to Twitter to say, I threw a drink in Kieran's face tonight, before adding, well, in half of it, he had it coming. Two days later, 39-year-old Culkin appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert to explain the reason why his co-star and friend did it. We just finished doing a table read, like the fourth episode, and she was a little upset, Culkin said. She goes, you have a joke about my old age. There's always so many jokes about how old I am. 2. Succession creator makes anti-monarchy comments in winning speech. Succession creator Jesse Armstrong used his recent best drama series, Win at the Emmy Awards to talk about the new king. Armstrong said, big week for succession. New king in the UK this week for us. Evidently, a little more voting involved in our winning than Prince Charles. Brian Cox quickly stepped in to say keep it royalist, keep it royalist, before trying to move the speech on. The comments were met with awkwardness in the room and upset in the British press. 1. Brian Cox vs Johnny Depp Brian Cox is just as outspoken as his character in succession. His autobiography didn't hold anything back, including comments about Johnny Depp. Personable though I'm sure he is, he is so overblown, so overrated. He wrote of the Pirates of the Caribbean actor. During his March appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Cox said that in hindsight, he is remorseful about his harsh words. I just thought I was being a bit harsh. You know what it's like, you go for the easy joke, and I went for the easy joke. That was what happened, and I sort of regretted it. Because I'm not like that normally, I was just being a bit glib, a bit flip. He added in a recent interview with The Times, I feel sorry for the woman heard. I think she got the rough end of it. So God is this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.